we live in an era of siege right now. I, I would like, to, I guess we can call it the 22nd meta. Um, and what that means is basically most of the rounds, at least in North America so far through this season, most of the rounds on attack are coming down to the final 20 seconds. We're seeing full teams of five on both sides persist in their entirety until the very last 20 seconds of many rounds. It's, it's not happening all the time, sure, but it's happening quite frequently. In this video, we're gonna go over alternative ways to deal with 20 second meta, namely Jaeger, Mute, Mozzie, Wamai, and Goyo. In this first clip, I'm showing you an idea I had to remove ADSs on Catwalk using Kali vertically but her lance doesn't work through hard walls. In this next clip, I'm just showing that Nomad is one of the few operators that carries six projectile burn, which is extremely good in a, in a utility soak meta. So, as you know, three air jabs, three stuns equals three ADSs burned, which is what I'm showing now. Another idea I had is what if you used Habana's pellets horizontally on soft surfaces to remove shields. And sure enough, it does just that. We're using Vulcan shields only because there's more Vulcan shields than there are deployable shields. So don't think that the explosiveness of a Vulcan shield is relevant in this clip. In this next clip, I'm showing you how we can use Habana's pellets vertically to remove shields as well. And so I know the spot where the Vulcan shield is, and this will detonate blowing up the shield. The other idea, and this is kind of, it works on some maps like Cafe really well, is removing shields by hitting the reinforcement right next to the shield. The explosive range of a pellet is just larger than I think most people expect. Another idea is to use Nomad aggressively to remove shields. So Goyo is right next to the shield and forcing him to hit the shield removes the shield. Again, it doesn't have to be a Vulcan. What I wanted to test yeah. next is whether or not Goyo could shoot the air jab it. when it was placed. And the answer is yes, the delay is quite significant. But what's quite strong is if you flash, and then use the air jab. All right, so breaching charge placed above. Let's drop below. But this is literally, this is four meters. Well, the range of a breaching charge, I'm not sure how, exactly. so that's directly above. Let me first show that there's a jammer on study to AV wall, and then also one in this common corner that you would like to join past. So first thing I want to show is if you open above the reinforcement, if you open above this reinforcement on AV and then throw your drone above, oh my god. If you open above the reinforcement and then throw a drone above, oh, two drones above, you can get the intel that you wouldn't otherwise normally be able to get, even with the mute jammer being placed on the AV wall. So if I jump across, I am now in sight getting all that intel that I wanted. Then what I also want to show, let's grab this drone that's above right now, is a really simple idea, which is we know there's a jammer right here. What I can do, instead of droning through the path and getting jammed like so, is literally just throw the drone past the jammer. I didn't do it. <laughs> is literally just throw the drone past the jammer so that once again you can get past the jammer and drone the area that you're interested in. Really common for there to be a pest placed on pixel and one way to get around that is if you just shoot up or shoot open some stop destruction your drone can fit through very small holes and get around this common pest. Same thing applies on virtually every single map. What I want to show here is that if you want to repel and you think there might be a pest on a window, for instance, admin windows on console, it's very common. 
what you can do is throw the drone into the glass, get the signal that there is a pest on that window, and then if you just open up the top of a barricade, you can jump your drone onto the top of the barricade and get the intel that you couldn't otherwise. And oftentimes, if you just jump off of that, you'll get past the pest that's placed on the window. Wanna, wanna try one more thing? No. Please, please, please. I think, I think this could be really cool. A, a vertical air jab underneath to remove a shield. Okay, that's where you are. So I would want to place the air jab like here probably. Nice.